Okay, great. Now, uh, what's this thing? Oh, no, that's good. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go. Let's okay. talk. All right. So breakthrough moment. I'm, yeah, I'm really help, really happy for you. Well, I mean, I'm turning it into a breakthrough because otherwise it's a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm deciding to reframe it because, like, it's a, it's a massive problem. But the way I'm reframing it is you and I have been working together for a year now and we've fixed up so many things. And this is what I realised is this is the one thing that left that is left. I keep fighting the trend. I'm fighting gravity. Yes. Four weeks ago, you sent me a challenge to just trade in the direction of VWAP. Yes. Uh, I did it for a week and I made two to two and a half grand. Great. That week. And then I I went back to my old habits. I started fighting it. I fought mm. it. We didn't have any sessions for a few weeks. We met again last week uh, and we refined that rule and said only go with, with VWAP and you can go against it if it's in a, uh, if it's in a key support resistance Huge area. Huge support we, resistance I mean, zone. Yeah, yep. they, it can be, it's it's kind of that simple, right? And I guess I haven't really been able to explain that before, but, and this is, is I love doing these conversations and having all of you guys around me is because I get better as well. Um, but we can break it down to those, just those two fundamental steps. Go with VWAP. If you're above VWAP, go long. If you're below VWAP, go short. And you can counter trend only counter trend trade when you're at a massive SR level of some sort. Other than that, that's it. That's it. And so that's what we agreed a week ago. And mm. so what did I go and do? Mm. I went and counter trend traded for a whole week. Uh mm -hmm. And you got. And you got. I've now done it for three weeks. And I look back at the week where I did it, and I banked two two and a half grand. And I've just gone completely back to all of my old habits. Yes, and this is where we, that book, Atomic Habits, comes in, right? I'm going to see him in Melbourne. Do you know yes. who's coming? Yes. Tell the group. Yep, the I'm group already. Going. Do you want the group. The group already knows about it. Um, it's anyone, up on Discord. Anyone's going. I've got a ticket. Where's our Discord? Oh, you've got a spare ticket, do you? Not only spare, but they're, they're still on. They're still on sale. Okay, cool. Yep. There's heaps of tickets left. Ninety-nine yep. bucks. All right. Do you have Discord there? Who's our browser? Yeah, we can post it up. Um, I think it's um, one of our guys, I uh, think, uh, another trader, Samantha. Um, she's already put it up there. Okay. Uh, have you got a browser there? Yeah, I just opened. Oh, you want a browser? Or yeah, or Discord. Yeah, Discord. Give me the maps. Yep. Open yep, there we go. There we are. You, you take it now? Yep. Um, No, not there. Yeah. Oh, there's me. And my son. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're at the footy. We took him with him and all the boys went to the footy. Um Search, you can search up the top. Yeah. Let's go, what is that? Atomic. There we go. There it is. Yep. I was in the, I was in psychology behaviour. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. We should repost it. But anyway, other people will might be interested in going. I've read his book, I've listened to all of his stuff. Um, a lot of, I did a part, part of the, there is a section in the course in module 10, which is a psychology section. I've just got a one off to the side where I, I broke down this book to uh, create new habits. But um, yes, this is important that you've at least, you, well, the good thing is now um, is that you recognize what your bad habits are okay instead of being completely um, unaware of them or 
were naive about it. Well, okay. But what's interesting to me is this is this is one. This is a single habit. If I change this, everything yes, changes. Correct, correct. It's and it, the one remaining that's <coughs> left to shift. Yep. And I wonder if that's why it's so stubborn. Yep, that's right. Um, if you can you bring up my course bring up the course or go to my website if you can With your old address. Yeah, okay. Give me the mouse. Yep, you've got the mouse. Yeah, that one, the EDU one. That'll get you in. Yep, that's it. All right. Down here. Okay. Okay. It's not it's not high quality, but I get to the habit points. Um, you know, it's about it's more on psychology. Okay, so um, how to change your habits? How you? Um, yeah, but, you know, I've just you know I've taken my interpretation of the book, uh, along with Steve Ward and along with um, Jared Tendler and some other things. Uh, are all in here okay but yeah we've got to really work hard at trying to change that those habits um, and what we've got to do I think in the book have you read the book yet? yeah yeah I did ages ago yeah. yeah okay so you know associate your good habits with uh, some sort of reward right you've got to kind of repeat it to yourself You've got to give yourself a, a reward for, you know, you performing a good habit, okay? Okay. Um, so, and, the, and I guess this is where it comes down to when we're in, um, in here, we're going, we put in, you know, whether it was a good trade, see this type, trade type, or good trade, bad trade type of thing. Um, you know, uh, instead of just, just putting, oh yeah, it was a type, type A good trade, right? But was it... But, you know, we, you've got to remind yourself, I guess, of, you know, was I, was I actually going with the trend? Was I going, was I doing those, those fundamental couple of things that we've, that we've discussed, right? And the every... The two down from there, I've added a cell that says VWAP, so now every trade I'm recording whether I went with VWAP or not. Okay, great. And what's the, what's the actual statistics of that? If you've gone with VWAP, what's the yeah. statistical... Um, result uh, well it would have been green for the week so you would have been all green for the week if yeah. that VWAP was on, if on point if I went with VWAP yeah, yeah I would have been green for the week great mate this is so good so the number yeah. what is scary to me is the number that when it gets great VWAP and all the time I wasted fighting the trend yep <laughs> I hardly went it's embarrassing the well, number of times that I actually went with VWAP and that I just could have had the rest of the week off yep. and been free and yep. instead I'm massively in the red yep. I've had an awful week fighting myself Yep. and you take out all of those trades and I'm green yep. that's the key realisation and yep. so it is one single habit I'm like we've done all of this work we've now narrowed it down to one there is one problem left to fix and then, then we're working on positive stuff and refining profits yep I mean, because look at that. It's you're, going, you're going against the VWAP there, right on that, and you got oh, and you got nailed. Every and but here you go with it, with it, you're all good. That's right. And I, I mean, I got back in there, but I got back in the wrong direction there. Uh, you know, and just the and the only uh, how can you? I got I got in. I went with here on VWAP and. Sorry, let me just so I can see. And so I got back in. But I should have gone long. That was the signal. Yeah. Get back in. That is my rule. Is if, yep. I, so if I get stopped out on VWAC, then get back in the opposite direction. Because this pink, this, 
This pink here is VWAP. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Can we just zoom in a bit? Yeah. Because ultimately, yeah, right where your cursor is now, right there, that's your buy. Yes. Penetrated through VWAP, come back to retest it. That's the buy in there. It's that simple. So I think when I had two negative trades in the wrong direction, then I got you know, anxious, I guess, or fearful, and I didn't enact my plan, which is to get in in yep. the opposite direction, and yep. there it is right there. Yep. I'm just stopped out. I'm not even in a trade. I'm ready to enter. Yep. I'm about to be stopped out. Yep. And the, the good thing about it is is if, you, if you've got this habit down right and you, you are flawless in your execution and you, you've got this full belief on VWAP, that you can trade two days a week and, and make your whole weekly wage. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to trade every day. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty full on, isn't it? But I'm glad that you've, you've got this. Um, you understand. You've now, you've yeah, got belief how now. How do you change your behaviour? Like, we've had this conversation. How do you change it? And I'm still doing well, that's, it. That's, so I'm yeah, don't worry, I still to make silly mistakes as well. But right? Like jumping out of windows and expecting to fly. Like, it doesn't <laughs> make, like, it's literally fighting gravity. Throwing money out the window. That's right. Don't worry, I, I do it to myself sometimes as well. Forget about just the basics. You take, you can, what you can do, I mean, you've still got shit all over you all over your charts what you can do is you can remove all your indicators just have your VWAP and the SR levels and a couple of trend lines and that's it all right but that'll you'll get to that stage you'll start removing all of this stuff all up you'll start taking it all away right because um, you know I, I, I mean I'll pull Fibonacci's um, these days but um, you know, I don't need to. I, I can just see whether it's at fifty percent or not, right? Um, yeah, but you know, the more experienced traders, all the experienced ones that I know, um, use less and less on their yes. chart because they can just see. They can just see. There's your VWAP. There's a little SR. I'm sure there's SR across here, right? And it comes in, touch, stop here target all the way up there and then they're just using the risk to reward you'll find as well is that you'll get you'll probably get some break evens but your win rate will go really high as well yes but all we need is a 50% win rate and a good SR yeah. system R so multiple I just trades this good. week that were with BWAP and it was 50% so here's uh Where's one? Uh, See how this is coming up into VWAP? So there's, yes. this is a reversal. I'm sure that this here is an SR of some sort. Okay. Yes. Um, is that it there? So we're at the lows. See how it's coming? Is we're making higher lows. In yes. Here. So you be careful about shorting it there. Okay. Yeah. Wait for the penetration and then we pull back into it. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Now, if this had come down and come back up quicker into VWAP, then that would have been a sell. That would be a sell. But then, because this is turning over, we've kind of got an ugly head and shoulders in there. Would have been nice to draw the head and shoulders rule in here to see where your number one level is. I'm sure it's kind yeah. of there somewhere, maybe. Well, that's this 1618. Um, but see how it's rolled over, it's taking time to get into the VWAP, you don't don't sell it, wait for it to penetrate, to go upwards, because we're coming okay. off these lows in here, okay? Yeah. But if, you, can you bring me up a trading view for me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain that again. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use, what am I, really cool You're tools. You're on the one minute, you might wanna make it five. It's all right, I'm just gonna, I just want blank space, that's all. Use ghost feed. Have you seen this thing? This is cool. No. Alright, let's just say that this is... Yeah. You come, you're coming down, okay? Like this. Okay. 
and we've got let me just put in whoops okay so VWAP is coming down in through here right alright so this this point here, you've penetrated, you've come, if it comes back quickly into VWAP, okay, that's a cell, okay? Yes. Obviously we've penetrated, so penetration retest, yeah? But yes. if, it, if it does, if it starts going, starts doing a higher loads and slowly creeping up into it like this, Yes. Okay, I probably wouldn't look for selling into the VWAP, okay? Yeah. I would yeah. wait for okay. this to penetrate and then retest okay that's what I mean by that okay and obviously from what I saw I mean you can see here right now with this is kind of when you're coming into this MA in here okay um, but if we um, you know if this was a significant SR then that's a support zone right so you wait for the wait for the penetration okay so I'd that if I can. Yeah, sure. Great, got it, thanks. Alright. Okay. Alright, so yeah, let's have a look at this, hey. Oh, you've still got all my all of this is all my stuff from the other day, is it? All of this? Uh I drew the yellows on, I was doing some what ifs. Okay, uh, yep. Oh, okay. Again, let's try and keep it nice and neat. Yeah, because that's pretty. But yeah, you've got SR in here. Let's see where you've yeah. got. Yeah, SR in here. That's good. Yeah, that's together. I'll yeah. probably bring that down a little bit thinner than that. Okay, that's nice. And we've got this um, MA, whatever that is, 200, is it? Uh, so it's 500. A, uh, it's either 1,000, 500 or 1,000. Okay, all right. So either one. All right. So we are, we are looking at, you know, potentially back up. Now let me just talk to you about something fundamentally and we were touching on this on discord yesterday we're coming into october okay yes so october is classic classically known for corrections okay yes. 1929 crash happened in october 1974 <laughs> happened in october 1997 2008 2019 okay they all happen approximately 10 years apart and uh, they all happen in October so we're coming into now we've been pretty much an all-time high on um, on S&P let's go to daily this. right so and we have had an all-time high, high over here which was in January okay mm -hmm. Um, we have come we come pretty close. There's a really nice SR in there. I'm surprised yes. you don't have that put in there. Okay, that would have told you the tops. Okay, that was would have been an awesome sell. But we are coming into this October period, so I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to start getting this to get pretty aggressive to the downside. Okay, over the next couple of months. Okay. Just keep that in the back of your mind, okay? That we, when we've got, we have October, August, October, uh, sorry, September, October, November is usually corrective season. Um, and also corrections are much more vicious than bull markets. Bull markets are slow, they move up slowly. We, let's let's just go over here. This is obviously COVID in here, so that's kind of this was a, a, a force majeure rather than a a market correction due to economics. Okay, so that's yes. why this this was in not in October. Okay. But if we go back to all of these other places, okay, you can see here August in here, in there, October in here, okay. Have a look at the, all of these August, August, September in here, okay. 
all of these big corrections, bang, right? They go, they're quite, um, they're quite vicious. And you, then you can see slow dribble to the upside, bang, correct, right? Um, because it obviously gets overcooked, so a lot of people get, uh, something might be said or they fund managers know that October's coming. So they go and pull all their positions uh, very quickly. As soon as there's a spook in the market, it goes really quickly, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so, but if we do get the pullback in October, November, you know, it's, it's, this is a Warren Buffett type, buy the, sh buy the crap out of it, you yeah? know? Yep. This is, I'm talking about, you know, if you're gonna buy and hold type of thing, okay? Yes. Uh, and, you know, S&P ETFs are really good to do it, do it, you know, on long term, like that. Yes. Um, so, you know, most of the time, all of these, most people will be waiting for the, the um, waiting for the correction to the, to then start buying into the next year. Okay. So, but I mean, it's been pretty toppy up there. So, and it doesn't really look like it wants to go any further. But you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we come back down to at least four thousand, maybe over the next couple of months. Yeah, and you can see any time it breaks through that 1,000 moving average, it's just a clear buy, isn't it? Yep. Like a long time. Correct. So we we go back to the old school. Uh, so if we go daily in here, can't quite see because there's stuff everywhere. But we've got 200 period moving average, which I, that's what's that? That's 50 period, is it? Uh, it's the grey one. It's this, the middle grey one. The next this, one down. This yeah, one. Okay. One. okay. So if we've got a 50 period MA, yep. which is that one. Yeah, it's that one. Right, and the 200 period MA, which is that one. Okay. Yep, that's, one oh, that's 100, this is 200? No. That's 200? Yep. Doesn't make sense to me. The 100 should be above the 200. This is the 200 down here. Mm, okay. Yeah. Let's just put, let's just make it just temporarily. Oh no, you're right. Oh, that's 50. No, it's not actually 50. If you look in the settings, it's set as 100. That's just a default. Um, if you look in the inputs, it's set okay. as 100. All right, no worries. Okay, so that is the 200, okay? So if we get a cross of the 50 period moving average and the 200 period moving average, it's called a death cross, okay? And that's a signal for bear market territory. If it crosses up, it's called a golden cross. And this is only on daily, right? It's not, okay. So if you're, if you're, if these do cross, you'll hear everybody, uh, like all the news reporters and everybody in, on Bloomberg say that if we're in a bear market, it's a death cross, okay? So just be mindful as well, is that that type of indication, uh, golden cross and the death cross, you know, are signals for fund managers to do stuff, okay? Yes, be big sell-offs. So if, if there is a death cross and there is issues and reasons why they should sell, they will sell, okay? Because yes. it'll be just an automatic trigger for all of these New York big guys to go and take action. Okay. Yep. So that's, and this is how you get into the mind of all of these other traders and all of these, uh, you know, uh, yep. fund Do managers. Do those apply to individual stocks as well? Yes. Yeah. You put it on an individual stock on a daily chart. You get a bull, uh, golden cross and a death cross, and it'll be tell you what the stock's doing. Yeah. Yep. And this is obviously the S and P five hundred top five hundred stocks on the. Dow Jones and the NASDAQ. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, okay, that's that. <laughs> I'll let you, you can put that back together if you want. Okay. Yeah, it's just a quick one on the uh, Bloomberg report. Yeah, I just want to show you that. Yes. Your challenge is, is to not counter trend trade unless it meets one of those criteria. Let's write down the criteria, okay? 
and I'm sure you've already done it, but I'm doing it for the purpose of this video and hopefully you'll give approval on it, okay? Above VWAP, and this is, not everybody will see this, only guys that are paying me see this in these videos, okay? Uh, above VWAP, buy, below VWAP, sell, um, reversals, uh, sorry, counter, trend, oops, trade, only if at massive, massive SR, okay, plus, plus reversal pattern, double top, double bottom, head and shoulders, yep, that's the fundamental criteria. Yep. And let's yep. see. And it, but if, if it doesn't, if your trade does not fit one of these, right, there should be no trade. And I'm sure you're going to do it. Okay. One thing I practiced this week was when I was when I wanted to and I was tempted to, I, st I just started making a little tally of yep. of, uh, of how many times I resisted the urge. Yep. Well, uh, you should. Your one day. Um, and this is, <laughs> and a win, a win for you, will be uh, your ability not to fall into temptation. Yes. That's a win, right? That's your hard work, because it's very. It, and I'll go back to something that I've that I've spoken to some other guys about is that, you know, you come from a, a labourer type level job. And you want to do this, right? People feel as though when you're trading, when you feel as though you're not actually doing anything, that you're not working hard enough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay? Right. Yeah. So what we need, we've got to change that that psychology or that that behavioural um, uh, thing that's going on for you uh, to. Um, to being, you know, you could, you could do all the, an, you do analysis, you do reading of the books, you do research, you do all of those type of things that you, uh, that's your, your hard work. Yeah, okay, right? yes. Yep. That's your hard work, okay? Yeah. And to sit on your hands and do nothing, right, and not give in to temptations and have proper analysis, etc. That's work. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. So just keep that in That's mind. That's harder work than reading books and it's doing the analysis. Very. Yep. Correct. <laughs> all right. So when you're not trained for it. Well, this is what I do all day. Okay. Is that for me to go? This is not like last night. You you were in the room last night. I said I'm not feeling it. I had to leave. Right. Yeah. That's good work. Because I could have just made it, it, it made the hole get bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? Because I was feeling, I wasn't in the right time of mind, you know, I knew I had to go out for a dinner, um, the, the market whipped around, so I really just got break even, and I just wasn't in the mood to be focused on it. So the, that is actually a good result to get up and move, like go away, right? Yes. So recognize your temptations, recognize, and I've done this before, I think I did it with you, I, or I, I do it to, for quite a few, do you, can you bring up a Word document for me? So, yep, just give me one sec, one sec. Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna do, this is what something that you might want to focus on doing, and I can't remember whether I've done this with you or not, okay? Map your behavior, okay? All right. Okay. Trade, des trade description before, during, and after. What did you say to yourself? right to cause an action 
okay? And what you might want to do is just write down all of the things that you've ever said to yourself. Like, you know, that little quiet voice in your head, okay? So that we can, re we can create a relationship between the trigger and the action, and we can see whether it's right or wrong. But what this also does, it also, um, it allows you to learn what these common things that you're saying to yourself are, you know, um, so that you can recognize them as triggers and you, so therefore you can block the action. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay. And this is, it's quite, it's difficult to do this, right? Because you're in the heat of the moment and you've got to remember to write them down because you'll forget about it. Uh, if you, if you try and do it afterwards, you'll just forget. Okay, but you've got to be able to. You've got to write these down as they go. So just have a notepad next to you and just write down. Just write down randomly all of the things that you're saying to yourself in your head, and then you can isolate which ones are the good ones and which ones are the bad ones. Okay. If you do that for a, for a couple of days in a week, you'll learn what all your triggers are. Because yes. so then when you say it again to yourself, you'll always say them. You, you'll never not have the, those, the conversations in your head, all right? Yeah. But you'll recognize that that's a trigger. And you won't take the action. Okay. And then, and this might be a good idea, is these three steps that I've just written on your, on your chart here, is that you just have that follow, you just bring that with you. Right. Yeah. Put yes. this up here. Yeah. Love it. Put that up there so that as time goes on, just move it across. Love it. So you, you've got it right there. It's fucking staring you in the face. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> right? That's great. Yep. All right. Yes. Okay. So there's behavioral mapping. You can do that. Okay. Yeah, Let's. Should we go through the other traits? Or is oh, that no, it? They're all negative. They're all against okay. me. Alright, well here's here's your challenge. Well, I mean we can. We can. No, no. Well it's up to you. I can I mean I mean you you're learning your lessons here, right? Aren't you? Yeah. Right. We can do it, but I don't know that it's I don't know, you know Okay, well here then let's let's don't worry about it. Let's do this, right? You're yeah. gonna come and see me on Friday next week. Okay. Yeah. And all you need to do is take two trades a night. Yeah. Okay. And it's gotta follow these one of these one of these three rules. Okay. Yep. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yep. And let's see what the outcome is. And if you make a mistake, okay, if you, if you, I'm, I'm sure you'll tr really work hard at trying to find out what these triggers are. It's okay. Just have the mistake, right? You, what you don't want to do is start beating yourself up badly over the, over the error. Okay. Cause that'll, you will, everybody makes errors. I still make errors, okay? I don't see something properly, or I see something too late, or whatever, okay? I did that, I did the, I did it yesterday, okay? So don't, you know, don't think that you can eliminate your errors 100%, you can't. But if, you, if we can get to a stage where we're doing the best we can, then we'll try and form it into a habit. And you'll probably find as well as the trading will become not so exciting. It becomes pretty boring <laughs> because you just, you just, you know, you know exactly what you need to do every day. Yes. Yeah. The challenge then will be increasing your lot sizes in your account. Yeah. That's, that's a better challenge than fighting gravity, isn't it? Counter trend yeah, trading. Like, pick your, pick well, your challenge. Yep. Counter trend trading will always fuck you. Every time. Breakouts will always, you'll always get it wrong on breakouts as well. Always trade the pullback. Always trade, trade the retests. Uh, always trade the SR and go with the VWAPs. That's, this can't be any more simple. Yeah, great. Yep, all right. Well, that's it then, mate. Okay, time to turn it around. Right, let's see what you can do. All right, I will report back for the group next week. Beautiful. Can't wait. Lovely. Are you Thank called you. for me to give this out? 
Yeah, I'm happy for you too. Okay, good. Alright. If anyone wants to DM me with comments yep. or oh, yep. Hang on, uh, let's, support, I would love it. Okay, you guys, so <laughs> where is it here? Where are we? Gen 1. Bottom okay. left. Bottom left. Here, Gen 1, guys. All right, so um, go ahead, talk to Gen 1. She's She's gone from completely novice to somebody who's making cash, which is good. Okay, that's it. Thanks, Richard. See All you right. next week. See ya. Bye. Bye. Paul King George V.